All right, good afternoon to you, everyone. My name is Pastor Charles Williams, and I am the founder and the creator of the concept known all over the world today as the Amber Alert System here in the United States of America and the Child Rescue Alert in other parts of the world. I am coming to you here today on this, the 20th of February, 2013, to bring you an update, if you will, um, on the Trayvon Martin versus George Zimmerman uh, case. Many of you know, if you've been following us uh, for about the past year, uh, after the uh, tragic murder of uh, Trayvon Martin, uh, an unarmed African-American uh, teenager uh, was gunned down at the hands of George Zimmerman, a neighborhood watchman. At that time, uh, we launched a campaign uh, on Twitter and other, and other social media outlets to... Uh, to come forth with a Trayvon Martin law, okay? And I just want to uh, just kind of jump in here and give you an update and let you know that we are still um, uh, working on this law. We do still have it uh, pinned down, but here's the thing. Uh, we don't want to go forward. We don't want to proceed uh, the trial. And so uh, it will not be until after the uh, trial has uh, has, has uh, concluded that then uh, we will go forth with getting in touch with uh, Attorney Crump and, uh, and the Martin family and sharing with them uh, what the future intents are of this wonderful law. I really do believe, after, even after a year, I do believe that what we have in mind uh, will help uh, preserve the... Um, and, and, and keep and keep in the forefront this the loss of life, the tragic loss of life of this young African American uh, young man. And so, I uh, just kind of want to give you that little bit of an update. We've got some uh, news here that came in uh, earlier today concerning this, and I just want to give you another little update too. Um, many of you wondered how many uh, how many supporters we had that said yes, we believe that as a result of the loss of life of Trayvon Martin, that there should be some kind of a law uh, that bears his name. And uh, we had, just on our sites, we had over 15 million likes, okay? We had over 15 million uh, people who stood up and said, hey, we're standing with you, Pastor Williams. Uh, if you did it for the Amber Alert, we believe that you can do it for Trayvon Martin, and uh, we're going to do just that, okay? And so uh, we've got some people targeted. We've been to Washington, excuse me, a uh, time or two, but uh, in the future as we go back, uh, we will be uh, being uh, more targeted um, in this uh, effort, uh, but the trial has to go forth, and the trial has to uh, conclude before we will go forth. And uh, because uh, we've got to have everyone on board uh, when we do this. <clears throat> News today that came out of uh, Florida, and, and I know many of y'all have just kind of, you didn't forget about it, but you just, you know, they're not talking about it in the news. And so if they're not talking about it in the news, you're going to need to tune to places like here. Because I shared with the people uh, when we were launching this campaign that, uh, we would not forget about Trayvon. We would not forget about his mother and his father and Attorney Crump. We would not forget about these people. And I, 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 made, I made the statement then, and I stand by it today. As long as I'm black, I'm going to stay on this case. So other media may come and go, but as long as I'm black, I am going to stay on this Trayvon Martin case, bringing you all the absolute latest as we have it at this time. And here we go. Okay, uh, update as of uh, today, according to the Orlando Sentinel uh, newspaper there in Florida, it's not clear what scenario, uh, what uh, it's not clear what scenario said, but he is likely to be an important witness uh, at Zimmerman's trial, and um, this is where the uh, uh, I believe it's um, Zimmerman's attorney has uh, deposed one of the uh, key witnesses there uh, in the uh, Sanford, Florida Police Department. Also, uh, the judge in the case uh, of the former neighborhood watchman uh, later charged that uh, 
charged in the shooting of Florida teen Trayvon Martin says that it would take extreme circumstances for her to grant a continuance for his upcoming self-defense immunity hearing. Judge Deborah Nelson said Thursday that she would, however, consider rolling George Zimmerman's immunity hearing under the uh, state so-called stand your ground law uh, into the scheduled June trial. Defense attorney Mark O'Mara will formally get to argue uh, for that during another pretrial hearing on next week. But for now, Nelson has reserved the final two weeks of April for the immunity hearing. Uh, she had also requested an initial uh, jury pool of 500 uh, jurors uh, for June's uh, second-degree murder trial. Zimmerman has pled not guilty. So basically, this is just all this is telling us here is that uh, the judge has uh, requested a jury pool of about 500 people uh, to uh, see if they can find a non-biased jury there in the state of Florida that will uh, uh, try, help to uh, try this case and that um, Zimmerman is still pled uh, not guilty. However, there was some news that came out just a couple of days ago, and like I said, I've been following this, came out just a couple of days ago that uh, George Zimmerman's wife, uh, the judge said that, yes, she will have to stand uh, trial for perjury, for lying under oath about their about uh, their monies and so forth that he was receiving over the Internet. So uh, there are a lot of things that are starting to shake. Remember, the trial is set for June, and this judge said there will not be a continuance. She's ready to rock and roll, it sounds like, Judge Deborah Nelson. So those of you all who believe in the power of prayer, would you cover uh, Sabrina Fulton and uh, and Trayvon's dad and and his brother? Uh, this is this is like 51 weeks since Trayvon was killed. 51 weeks ago, they 51 weeks they have been going through uh, um, just a bunch of shenanigans. Um, this trial should be much further along, and they're just trying to delay, 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 delay. But uh, we believe that they're going to get the victory. And uh, I believe that if you would join me in, in covering uh, them in prayer, that, that, that prayer will bring about uh, a victorious uh, end to this case. Okay? So uh, that's the latest news that we have on the George Zimmerman versus Trayvon Martin case. Uh, let's see. We've got a little video clip here I wanted to share with you and uh, uh, out of Florida. And let's uh, let, let, let's join in here and uh, see Toyota, what, uh, let's let's see what it is they've got to say. Okay? The All judge right, in the George Zimmerman murder case says she doesn't see anything that would stop the stand your ground hearing from starting in April. Circuit Judge Deborah Net uh, Nelson says only extraordinary circumstances would delay the hearing to decide whether Zimmerman can use the stand your ground uh, defense as his defense. Zimmerman claims self-defense in the killing of 17-year-old Trayvon Martin last year. Meanwhile, the city of Sanford, where Trayvon Martin was killed, has a new police chief. Cecil Smith will take over the role on April 1st. Residents and leaders hope Smith will help the city heal from years of racial mistrust. Smith will succeed Bill Lee. Lee was fired, you may remember, in June because of the way he handled the Martin case.